Bordeaux and France hosted the 15th FEI World Cup driving finals at the Parc des Expositions. The six finalists coming through the winter season were Australia's Boyd Excel, for the Netherlands, Kuster Rond and Eisbrand Chardon, Switzerland's Jerome Vutaz, Germany's Michi Braukler and Jörg von Stein, and French wildcard driver Sebastian Muriel. Swedish course designer Dan Henriksen laid out a technical and challenging course for the first day, and it was 2013 FEI World Cup champion Kuster Rond that drove the only clear and took pole position ahead of Chardon and Excel. All seven finalists then came forward to day two, driving the same course set by Dan Henriksen, but who would be in the top three for this drive off? The first day's results were turned on their heads in the first round, with XL now on pole as the drive off began. So Coase will start on his first round time of 1.41.93. He's about four seconds behind Boyd XL at the moment. But if he can stay clear and keep the pressure on, anything could happen. One knockdown, one five-second penalty could change the complexion of this competition entirely. 2-3-6 on the clock as he comes out through the D-gate. So that's 95 seconds. Time elapsed in the round. Oh, that's unfortunate to have something off the hazard when you're going through it just en route to a cone. You can see the pressure, though. He's guaranteed a top three finish, but Coase is hungry for the win. But ten penalties here in the drive off could just leave him with too much to do. 267-67 for Coase Rond. So Eisbrand starting just about one and a half seconds off Boyd's time. 139-49 for the Stockholm and Olympia winner, two-time FEI World Cup driving champion Eisbrand Chardon for the Netherlands. So down into the second hazard. Eisbrand has yet to drive a clear here in Bordeaux. If he does it now here in the drive off, the pressure will absolutely be on Boyd XL because there is nothing time wise between these three drivers. Back across the bridge, just three cones to go. This is where Koos had his unfortunate second knock, taking one of the knockables off the hazard. Still good, still clean, still clear for Icebrand Chardon. Last cone, la oh, the backstep and then he came right off there. 25009. That is serious driving. 17 seconds overall faster than Kuss Durant. Seven seconds faster than Kuss uh, drove his two rounds. <laughs> Defending champion Boyd XL. Driving the anchor leg of our drive off. He has about a one and a half second advantage after the first round. He needs to drive this course in 1-1-2 one, one, or faster. Look at Boyd go. Just see him really digging into the surface, going around that hazard. Nope, he's had a ball at three. That really makes things a little bit easier for Icebrand Chardon, but nothing is over till it's over. Boyd XL. Got to be faster than 26767 on that clock on your screen. To beat Kusteron, he's all right, but Eisbrand Chardon is the new FEI World Cup driving champion. Boyd XL, so, so fast. But it wasn't to be. 2-5-4-7-3. So it was a thrilling finale to the FEI World Cup driving series. Eisbrand Chardon winning his third title ahead of six-time champion Boyd XL and 2013 champion Kusteron. But Isabran Chardon lifts the coveted Jack Pemberton trophy and is the 2016 FEI World Cup driving champion.